Welcome to Earth Harmony Home. I'm Deborah Gerke, here with Jennifer Murray of the Blossoming Lotus Restaurant on the beautiful Garden Island of Kauai. Jennifer is going to show us some really nifty techniques today. She's going to teach us how to chop and dice, mince. Yes, those are all guacamole. Yes. And then all of those minced, diced, and chopped things will go together into a wonderful guacamole. Yeah. That a is very simple way to make something delicious with a very simple technique, which is the first chapter in our latest book, The Seven Minute Chef. So the avocado being the central <laughs> characteristic of guacamole. <gasps> Look how beautiful. beautiful. Easiest way to chop it up, I find, is to just go like this, run the knife through in both directions. I'm learning something because um, mine never looks quite that pretty when I'm doing that. Look at that! That's so beautiful! Yeah. Now we have this wonderful little pit to get out. One of the secrets of keeping your guacamole fresh in the refrigerator, if you're not going to serve it immediately, would be to put the pit into the mix. And the pit helps keep the guacamole from turning brown. Now how many of you out there knew that? I did learn that, but I'm really always glad to be reminded. That is such a cool trick. Okay. Two medium avocados. And then we have a half a cup of chopped tomato. So what defines the difference between chopping and dicing and mincing? And mincing is the smallest form where you pretty much smithereen whatever it is you are cutting into the finest, littlest bit you can get so that it mixes really well into the food. And then dicing would be slightly larger than that. And then chopping is something more like you could pick up with your fork and eat. So this size that you're doing the tomatoes? This would be a small chop. A small chop. The avocado pieces were a little bit like a medium chop. We have large chopping, medium chopping, small chopping, what have you. The red onion. We shall dice. Thank you, Deborah. <laughs> so glad to be of service. <laughs> Deborah informed me that in fact, some people don't know how to make guacamole, which is why and make sure that that tragedy ends today. Onions are so easy to dice because they are already cut naturally themselves in a couple different directions. So... Now there is sort of a method to this though, because if you started cutting the onion the opposite direction, it doesn't do this work for you quite as quickly. Is that true? That is so true. I learned that one time and I thought that was a really cool thing. Good thing you pointed that out. Yeah. So let's so make sure we point that. it out to everyone else, because what you did was you cut off the ends of okay. the onion and then you began your slices from that same direction. And so now we need some garlic, which is minced and you can either use a garlic press which they just naturally come out minced or you can mince it by hand most garlic presses aren't very good however we have discovered that there are a couple you need a good strong one those plastic ones you see in the store they're just not going to do it they're not going to cut it ah, no pun intended <laughs> <laughs> a good garlic press does make all the difference so you just really give it so this is the min mincing mincing portion this is the mincing portion of our show today <laughs> garlic is such a key ingredient in guacamole really you could do guacamole with just avocado lime garlic and salt but we like to put in the tomato 
and these spices here. There's chili powder, black pepper, sea salt, and just a pinch of cayenne. Mm. Throw that in there. And the lime juice. Cut the limes into little sections. Squeeze like so. If you don't have a citrus juicer, this is obviously the easiest way to do it. If you do have a citrus juicer, you're in luck. One tablespoon. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> You're so very welcome. And cilantro. Most oh, yes. people wouldn't forgive you for not putting cilantro in. Some people hate it. I'd rather like it. I love it. Mm hmm. A little more mincing action. Good, Deborah. Good eye. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so good. I love cilantro. Yeah. Right out of the garden. Feels so good. And what about these lovely little green people over here? Yes. Children may not like these, but we do. Uh, the jalapeno, the really hot part is the seeds. Some people do think the actual pepper is hot, but it's mostly in the seeds. I'm just going to cut it like this. So you want to cut it in half and take out the hot, depending on <laughs> what you and your friends and family like and how much. Now that was also much more graceful than I've been able to do that. That was quite lovely. Is this an advanced chapter? <laughs> to work in the direction of the vegetation. <laughs> this is minced as well. Keeping your fingers ever so yes, protected. Away from the blade. <clears throat> we make guacamole. I like to take the fork and smash up the avocado a little bit. How about if I move this out of your way a little bit Thank as your you. faithful trusted assistant? healthiest vegetables that there is. It's actually a fruit, but we'll call it a vegetable. <laughs> it can get confusing. It's green. It has a seed in it. <laughs> Aha, that's, that's the sweet. distinction. Wow. Yes. See, now I think this is beautiful guacamole. It's colorful. It smells yeah. fantastic. The tomato really gives it a nice, the tomato and the red onion give the purple and the red and the green. And yeah. It's nice to eat a rainbow. Very beautiful. Jennifer, thank you so much for sharing not only how to make incredible guacamole, but for the technique of chopping and mincing and dicing. We've got it. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Jennifer Murray of the Blossoming Lotus Restaurant. Oh, and we can't forget to mention this beautiful surrounding area. We're at One Love Farms on the beautiful Garden Island of Kauai. Thank you for joining us. I'm Deborah Gerke, Jennifer Murray of the Blossoming Lotus. Aloha. Aloha.